This right here, as I said, is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon. Are they having a meeting? Mustang. Expensive toys right here. $71,000. 64. I gotta show y'all this. Check. Woo! Go ahead. What's good, y'all? Good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time you're watching this. Welcome back to the channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys are new here and notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Right now, I am at work. It's some content for you guys to see and all the different cars that I drive and what I do uh, on the daily for work. So, um, first of all, I am a my job title is a merchandising assistant slash i like to say just vehicle photographer but i don't just take pictures of cars i also do upload them uh, i have my own office and stuff my own computer stuff like that because i gotta upload photos basically that's what i do i'm the person for uh the dealership that i work at who takes all the pictures on this big turntable thing that will rotate so i can get different shots of the uh, vehicle that's my job you know to take the pictures and upload them to the sites and it uploads them to car guru our site you know whatever other sites there is out there i'm not really sure but anyways we're gonna get this vlog started y'all hope y'all enjoy and let's get into it so right now let me see what i'm in 208 so right now i'm in a 2020 jeep gladiator rubicon white y'all can see here's the key i'm gonna uh flip it around for y'all i already did the pictures of it but i'm gonna show you all the whole process after i take the pictures i have to park it over in this like overflow lot but yeah it's pretty nice in here it's got stitching on the seats things like that so i'm gonna flip the camera around and show y'all a little bit of the car and then i gotta carry on with my work day because i still got more cars to picture today and these are just new cars i haven't went to the used list yet but on the use list, I'm actually waiting for details to get done so that I can picture them. So yeah, let's get into my work day, y'all, let's go. So this right here, as I said, is the 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon in white. It's nice, I like the red on this one. I like black and red. Black and red stitching on the seat. It's nice. I don't know if this top comes up, I'm not sure. I don't really, it might, it looks like it might come off. All these pieces might, you know come off so you can take the roof off of it but yeah i already took the pictures of this one and it's in the overflow lot with the other ones that i've already taken pictures of so now i gotta head back over there to the turntable and yeah get on to the next vehicle so the next vehicle is a 2020 Jeep Cherokee Overland Black. All right, so now we're done with this car. I just gotta put my camera back over here because there's no point in taking it with me and having to carry extra stuff. This looks like it's the last one. Yeah, it's that Wrangler that I showed y'all before. Straighten the turntable out. I'll leave that up there so I don't lose it. to take this to the overflow lot park it pick up the next vehicle do the same thing over again that's my job other than uploading all right so i'm parking this one in the overflow lot right now then we're gonna get on to that 2020 jeep wrangler we're gonna check that one out i've already seen all these vehicles you know because i've been working here since i think november the end of november end of october one of those but um yeah i've seen all of these vehicles already so i'm not too like excited like i used to be but they're still nice to see and it's fun to drive them every day and see all the different cars and stuff like that but let's get out of this one and get into that wrangler so now we're in the 2020 jeep wrangler sport gray it's pretty nice all black it's got the screen in it this one's got heated seats Heated steering wheel. I don't know what this stuff really is. Parking brake. It's got all everything you really need. Show you all the color of the lights and all the details that it does when we start it up. It's a 2020, it's nice, you know, it's updated. So it should have that stuff. The screen doesn't turn on, like I said, because when I get the vehicles, they be in ship mode. Uh, some of them do actually cut that on, but not all of them. So I'm gonna take pictures of this one. Here, I'll show y'all. Are they having a meeting? 
Yeah, this is the vehicle. So that one took me a little under five minutes to shoot. I'm gonna flip through the pictures. That's the first one. And that one was the last one. So that's all the pictures I took of that car. And now I'm gonna pull it out and park it in the overflow lot. And then I'm gonna have to turn all these keys into Sarah because I'm done with the PDIs for the day because that's all I had in my box. And yeah, I'm gonna move on to used cars. So we'll see how that list is coming. One more quick look at the interior on this because I just don't remember if I already did one outside of the Audi Porsche building. That's where my turntable is. But it's a little dark in there when you're sitting in the car. So I just wanted to show you guys in the light how everything looks. Real nice. No stitching on these seats because this one is, let me see. This is just the Wrangler Sport. So it says Wrangler right there. It took me so long to uh, figure out these was the window buttons. So yeah, these are the window buttons for anybody who doesn't know. It looks like this top does come off. Um, if you pull these and what you push it, Oh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't gonna do that, though, because it's raining. But, yeah, it look like this one do. How you clamp it? See, this is why you don't touch stuff. Because now I don't know how to shut it. All right. There we go. This one's smashing my finger. All right. Now I'm about to take you guys to my office because I got to see what used cars still need to be detailed, still are in service, and what's all done so that I can actually picture it. So I'm about to go check that out in my office, and I'm going to show you guys a little tour of my cubicle. So, um, yeah, come on. Right, it's raining. It's sprinkling, I guess I should say. That's what I just did. So this is my office. No stuff up here. Got a phone. Keep all my lists of all the cars that I've pictured since I've been here. Paper for the printer. Got some forks, napkins. Yep. Got my little man. But this is my office. And now I'm gonna check up on those used cars and see what we got for today. This is the detail shop. Those cars. This is where we get all of our details done over here. Charles, you did this one? Doing He's doing this one right now. Charles is a new detailer. So, you know, it's coming out pretty good. He did a truck that I'm a, a picture today. I'm gonna show y'all because I didn't picture it yesterday, but he did real good on it. This is the detail side, dry on the floors, as y'all can see, mostly over here. It's the wet side, that's where you pull through. We got two lanes, a car can go over there, a car can go right here, come through, wash your stuff, uh, wax it, dry it, get it out, put it over here detail the inside i'm actually i'm supposed to be waiting on this car but the detail is gone already so 
Looks like I'll get this one tomorrow. So we're gonna see. Ooh, look at that track card. All right, y'all, so we're gonna see what our next vehicle gonna be. I gotta show y'all this. Track card. Whoa, go ahead. That's that track hawk right there. Got a nice Mustang. But I'm on to used cars now. So how my day goes, it starts off with new cars because the boss told me new cars are priority. As in when I come in and we got any PDIs like off some big trucks like that, that just got dropped off and got the plastic taken out of them. Uh, that's my priority first thing so once i get all my pdis done as y'all saw i'm done with all my new cars now i'm moving on to the used car lot new cars is that other building down there but this is the used car lot and yeah now i'm getting all the used cars that have just been detailed and serviced and clean and ready for me to picture and upload on the site I already found the next one it's right up there behind this blue one so the motor start might be disabled it's got this brown and black interior yeah it says remote start disabled Fit it on that little bitty circle. This one ain't got no sunroof or nothing. guys a little walk through of the Porsche Audi building. I'll go through this way. Expensive toys right here. Seventy one thousand dollars. Sixty four expensive toys. So I'm gonna get into it. Long story short, my boss, uh, I had just came back from my birth break cause Chanel had just had the baby. So I had a week off, just came back from my birth break. My boss was telling me, oh, we was getting 12 cars done a day. You know, this, that. Even though I know that was BS because before I left on my birth break, I was only getting five to six cars shot because that was all that was getting done for the day because the detailers were only there for so long because they're paid by commission. So they would get their cars detailed and leave and they only did about three, four a day. So I was already caught up with the detailers and obviously my boss doesn't want me picturing dirty stuff. So I was kind of like waiting on the detailers cause they would give me a car, I would picture it and then I would kind of be like, okay, now I gotta wait another two hours, you know, for y'all to get done with the next one. So what I would do is I would just picture everything that I had to do and then I would leave, you know, I would let my bosses know I was leaving, but I'm like, look, I don't want to waste, you know, company money, you know, on the clock or anything like that. So um, this is all my work. This is everything I got done. 
I had uh, everything accounted for on my list from top to bottom on location to the status of it to why it wasn't pictured yet or if it was pictured yet because I couldn't picture everything because some stuff was in service. Some stuff didn't arrive to the dealership yet, but it still popped up on my list because we owned the vehicle. Some stuff wasn't clean yet. Uh, some stuff was off lot. Uh, just different things, but they're still on my list growing age, you know? So the bosses was definitely on my head about that, even though it's not my fault. Another thing I would do to try to get more cars ready for me, um, if there was two cars that was the same, like we had two Porsche Macan, same make, same model, same year, just different color on the outside and the interior was all the same color. So what I would do in that situation, because that would happen a lot in dealer trade situations, which um, is when a dealership will trade two trucks for two Jeeps or they might just trade two trucks for two trucks, you know, it just goes all different type of ways. But so for example, like I said, I had two Porsche Macans. Now one was dirty. One wasn't going to be detailed and ready to be pictured and taken off of my list and uploaded until like two or three more days. And I wasn't trying to wait for that because the bosses are looking at me like the vehicle's here, you know, why isn't it uploaded? Why isn't it pictured? It's not ready for me yet, boss, but hey, you know, I'm gonna try to do my job the best way I can. So like I said, one Porsche was dirty, one was clean. I took the pictures of the clean Porsche and used the pictures from that Porsche on the dirty Porsche. I obviously still took pictures of the outside of the dirty Porsche because I said there was two different colors, right? But this is where I broke the law. This is why they fired me. And this was just an honest mistake. I wasn't trying to be lazy. I was just trying to get more cars off my list because if I would have gave it to my boss, like here, you know, only got four or five cars done today, but that's all that was, you know, honestly ready for me. If I would have gave that to him, he would have looked at me like, so what did you do all that time? Was you just, you know, off or something? And I wasn't trying to get in trouble. So I would use the pictures from the clean vehicle on the dirty vehicle and no one would have caught it. And it wasn't really a bad thing until there was one thing that stuck out and that broke the law that made it terrible you know bad i feel bad you know but not too sad over it because it was an honest mistake i was just trying to get my job done because they was always on my head so um basically what messed me up was the picture right here i'm in the driver's seat uh they always wanted me to get a picture of the speedometer you know the dash and all that and uh, they wanted me to have the car on so that they could see the dashboard lights and you know whatever color they struck they uh light up or whatever but um there's some numbers on that dash called odometer numbers or the odometer meter and um basically when i put the pictures from another vehicle that even though it was the same you know type and everything they might have not had the same odometer readings because they were two different vehicles you know so they started catching on to that and when my boss saw that, he said that a customer came in and he was a little confused because it said that one Ford Explorer had this many miles online when when they showed up, it had this many miles because one Ford Explorer was dirty, one was not. So I took the pictures of the clean one inside and put that one on the dirty one so that I could get it uploaded off my list. And uh, I just wasn't thinking, um, I wouldn't even call it being stupid because I was really just trying to get my job done and uh do what i was told but uh yeah those odometer numbers that's that's a that's a federal crime like that's i broke a federal law and my boss when he when he fired me he didn't even tell me oh this is why we're firing you because you broke a federal law no nothing like that i had to look it up to find out that it was a federal law or even that it was a law because it sounded like my boss was just kind of upset because since the customer was confused, he didn't buy the vehicle, um, so they didn't get a sale. But um, maybe that's why he was upset, but I mean, I don't know. Y'all got the story, man. Um, that's all it was. I'm sorry if I explained it bad. Uh, I'm not good at talking, but yeah, basically all, all I was doing was taking the pictures of one vehicle, even though it was the same, and putting them uh, online posted as another vehicle just because that vehicle wasn't ready to be pictured yet but it needed to get online it's a lot it's a lot to try to comprehend and 
get through your head but hope y'all enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos hope y'all enjoyed this video uh yes there will be a lot of fire content coming because obviously i'm fired i'm unemployed so yeah i'm back man so hope y'all ready for this journey we about to take over the tube and it's gonna get crazy so yeah that's how i got fired by breaking a federal law at my job yeah